If you love liberty, declare your independence by signing the Shire Society Declaration at ShireSociety.com. With Jeremy Kaufman of the Free State Project, he's going to tell you about this uh, ideas that he has, and then uh, your food will be arriving if it hasn't already. Uh, you should have all ordered by now. And uh, while you're eating and talking, I hope that you'll talk about all these things that he's bringing up for you. Um, and then we'll have a bunch more speakers that are all movers and shakers in the Free State Project here, and we'll do our film screening and carry on with the night. So uh, let's get a round of applause for Jeremy here. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I do have a couple of, of serious things to talk about and propose to everyone uh, that they consider, but because I'm speaking first, I feel like I can't, I can't get just right into those things. And I've, I've started things from nothing a, a couple of times uh, in my life, a, a, a business, and, and built it up to something. Um, my current business was just featured in the, in the New York Times last week. As, as <laughs> And, and so I've seen um, what it takes, how it happens, how something starts from nothing and, and, and gets really big. Um, and I think that it, this, this movement and what we're doing here has a lot of those characteristics. What, what we've been accomplishing here uh, is absolutely incredible. I think it's unprecedented. I think we've got done uh, more in the last decade than every other libertarian movement combined has accomplished in the last five decades. And I mean, seriously, seriously, like, you know, li libertarians, so, you know, like you go to like Cato and they'll have this post about how like OSHA doesn't work because OSHA was formed and, you know, there's no inflection point in the graph. Okay, well, try to perform that same analysis on every attempt at achieving liberty in the last five decades. You're not gonna find it. We're actually doing it here. And this has the dynamics of something that, that, that can succeed. And I think uh, today, uh, or some point in very recent memory, it's no longer a theory. Like we had a theory, we had a hypothesis that this idea could work. And I think we know now that it does work. It is working. And I think, 2020 showed that there's no hope for much of anything other than this, right? The government has <laughs> been as bad as it's ever been, and people are still just eating it up. Everyone's still fine with it. Like there's no, there's no awakening. There's no moment. You know, there's no mass libertarian movement that's happened in response to this. But the reality is, there are some people who are more pissed off than ever who are more awake than ever to the problems of the state. And we have a chance here to actually win when everything else hasn't worked. And I believe more than ever, I moved here uh, five, five years ago, and you know, I was curious about it. I wasn't sure how involved I was gonna be. I wasn't sure how likely it was gonna work. My probability estimate that this thing will work is higher than it's ever been in my entire life. Seriously. Free staters have achieved record influence. There's more of us than ever. And the, the evidence that it's working is, is seriously, it's overwhelming. The, the evidence is overwhelming. Um, but I'm gonna segue from here to the strategic element because while we can be winning, it doesn't mean everything that we're doing is correct. It doesn't mean we're not making some mistakes. And there are a couple of things that I think we, as a movement and as a group, need to reassess a little bit, need to think about. Two things in, in particular. Um, and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna introduce both of those. Uh, so uh, the first is um, the pledge and what it means to be a free stater, okay? So thus far, we've taken the pledge to generally be the definition of what it means to be a free stater. And the pledge worked because we wouldn't be here without the pledge. The Free State Project wouldn't exist without the pledge. It worked. But it also didn't work in, in some other senses, okay? We have 20,000 people signed, we have 5,000 people here that are Free Staters. We have people here because of the Free State Project that didn't sign the pledge. I've met dozens of them. 
okay? I've met some people, and I'm in this category, who took the pledge so seriously that they didn't want to sign until, like, basically they, they moved. I signed, I signed the pledge one day after I moved. I, I watched the Free State Project from a distance for 11 years, moved and signed one day after, okay? Um, and that's, that's maybe an extreme example, but like we didn't, the pledge worked because we're here, we wouldn't be here without it, but it doesn't really make sense from, from where we are, right? Like it doesn't make sense to have someone promise that, that they're gonna move. It possibly doesn't make sense to make someone promise that they're gonna give their fullest practical effort, right? Like quite frankly, I'm, if, if someone's gonna come here and be libertarian and vote for all of our great libertarian political candidates, I'm happy to have them here. Now, if you're gonna come here and be like a, a, you know, a, a Mark Warden or a Keith Ammon or all these other wonderful people, right? Yeah. We want more and more of those, but like we want people who'll just come here and vote for them too, right? We want every libertarian to, to be here. This is the future of liberty. It's here in New Hampshire. And so we need to think about what the definition of a free stater is, what does it mean to be a free stater, and how do we get uh, as many people here, here as possible. Uh, so one, one um, and, and also, we also face challenges around this label. Our enemies are happy to label people, uh, and we're, quite frankly, okay with a lot of the time, label people free staters, but we have this struggle. I interact on social media all the time on behalf of the Free State Project. Can I call this person a free stater? Well, I don't know. I don't know how that person feels about it, right? But, but uh, Grand Rapids State Progress can call anyone they want a free stater. But I can't, right? But we want to be able to call people free staters. We want to be able to brag about everything that's accomplishing here. And, and there is this sentiment, I think, within the movement earlier on, and I wasn't here for, for part of this, so, so, and this is all my opinion, this is not the board's opinion necessarily, and I, you know, there may have been a time where this was a label that people were concerned about. I think that time has, has passed. I don't think that time exists anymore. And I think that we need to be able to call people as free staters freely. It can't be that you filled out a form on the website, in my, in, in my opinion. But this is something I want everyone to, to be talking about. What does it mean to be a free stater? What should it mean? What does it mean to be a part of this movement? How do we, ident how do we identify people as free staters? And, and, and when can we call people free staters? One proposition, one idea, and I'm very ambivalent about this myself, so I'm not trying to persuade you that's correct. I just want you to entertain it. Is that a free stater is just a libertarian that lives in New Hampshire. That's all they are. They're libertarians who live in New Hampshire. And the pledge got this movement started, but to be a free stater is to be a libertarian and to live in New Hampshire. Now, what's a libertarian? We could argue about that for another hour. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna answer that. But obviously we're able to use the word libertarian and we're able to, to understand who lives in New Hampshire. Okay, so this is a possible definition that I would think we should consider. Uh, I want people to think about that, but it would allow, it makes it a lot easier. Hey. Free staters are doing all kinds of stuff. PJ O'Rourke's a free stater, okay? Because he lives here. Um, the other idea that I wanted to introduce uh, is just how we can continue to um, uh, re-energize or energize the people here and to continue to get us uh, excited about the movement. I think a lot, we've, moved, we've moved here and we forget sometimes how special it is. We forget that we need in my opinion, I want, I want 50,000 more libertarians to move. I don't want just 15,000, I want, I want 50,000 more libertarians to move. And that means we need to continue to be talking about what we're doing, we need to be continue to or be oriented afterwards and we, outwards, and we continue to need to be excited about the Free State Project and the Free State Movement. I think um, a lot of what's happening here um, is we're, we're not, getting our, the word out as much as we can. And the more energy we can get behind the Free State Project again, the more that we can do that. And one idea that we're entertaining and discussing is making the Free State Project itself uh, more, uh, contr more controlled by the people who are uh, here. Uh, most likely through monetary donations or other contributions to the organization. Right now it's been a board uh, electing the board and we want, uh, we, want, um, we want to be energizing people again, we want to be increasing the, the capital that the, the organization has uh, available, and we think that uh, this is one, one possible uh, idea. 
to go to uh, an organization where uh, people who are putting their money in have more say in the way that it, it works. And that could mean board seats or other things. There's a lot of possibilities uh, that, in terms of what that could entail, but we want to hear people's thoughts on that and we want people to, to consider. Uh, so those are the two ideas. What does it mean to be a free stater? And the idea of changing the organization to be uh, one in which uh, people's cash, their, their, their contributions, cash or otherwise, give them more say in the way the organization actually works. So, all right, those are, uh, have a good dinner, everyone. And the board, can the board members stand up or board members or anyone like also working for the organization? Uh, Chris, and well, well, everyone knows Chris, Vince. Steve, Dennis, yeah, Dennis, absolutely. Steve, uh, so just if you have, um, if you're having conversations at your table about any of these topics or come up and talk to us about us, we're trying to collect feedback about these ideas uh, uh, because we want people to be bought into whatever, whatever changes might happen. Thanks. We'd like to invite you to visit freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters.